Tanzania is fortunate enough to have some highly diverse sources of energy, both in terms of renewable and non-renewable supplies. The country, which is bordered by Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi and others, is able to rely on geothermal power, solar power, wind power, biomass and mini hydropower, as well as non-renewables. However, in spite of these resources, it faces some serious issues in its power network, stability and supply. Only about 38% of the country's population has access to electricity, and in rural areas, the figure is as low as 19% as of 2022. There's a desperate need for energy generation and investment. For the most part, the power sector is controlled by the Tanzania Electricity Supply Company Limited, which is a state-owned organization that covers more than half of the country's generating capacity. It also owns the majority of the country's distribution network, meaning that it's very much the dominant power in this market. As of 2022, Tanzania had a total power installed capacity of 1,602 megawatts, and 244 megawatts has been added in just the last four years, representing a significant increase. Most of the country's electricity is currently generated from hydropower, but water shortages in recent years have caused disruptions and a less reliable electricity supply. This is coupled with the problem that it's estimated that peak electricity demand is likely to quadruple in the next few years. By 2025, the country is likely to be using about 4,000 megawatts. It's obvious that Tanzania needs to invest in its energy sector if it hopes to meet this demand, and the country has been looking at ways of dramatically increasing and diversifying its energy production. In the past two decades, it's faced very significant challenges in its production and distribution of energy, including a lack of private investment and capacity shortages. These two issues have led to low reliability in their power supply, causing disruptions to industries and reduced quality of life for citizens. There is an obvious need for greater investment and the new power plant could represent a significant contribution to this. The country intends to increase its use of multiple different sources of energy, including coal, which has the advantage of being a locally available resource. Tapping into this could help stabilize the electric supply and ensure the country is able to meet its energy needs as these grow. It will reduce Tanzania's dependence on imported energy sources. As more and more rural properties gain access to electricity, the demands will grow. The goal at present is to increase the rural connection rates to 75% or more by the year 2033. In order to service these homes, it's going to be necessary to provide more power from multiple sources, creating both more energy generation and increased stability. This will stimulate the economy, create jobs and elevate the standard of living for many. Tanzania has been working on its energy structure since the 1990s and is trying to increase private participation alongside the state-owned contributions. A major part of this plan is the Chuchuma power plant, which will be situated in Iringa, Tanzania. This is a 600 megawatt coal-fired plant, which means that it offers several significant advantages. The most obvious is its contribution to the increasing energy needs, but that's combined with using a fuel that can be locally sourced. Coal is not considered a particularly environmentally friendly fuel option for many reasons, but it is reliable if it can be acquired within the country. Most of Tanzania's coal has remained untapped, and the country is thought to have the largest reserves of coal in all of East Africa. With total coal reserves of around 1.9 billion tons and potential reserves of close to 5 billion tons, this is clearly a valuable resource. It's thought that over 400 million tons are currently found in Chuchuma, making this a particularly suitable site for the power plant and its associated mine. This amount should fuel the 600 megawatt power plant for more than 100 years. The project will also include a 220 kilovolt transmission line between Laganga and Chachuma. The area is already home to two coal mines, the Kiwira coal mine and the Ungaka coal mine, and construction on the new plant is projected to start in 2025. Although permission has been granted, no construction work has yet started. There will likely be multiple stages of construction to go through before operations can begin. The mine must be built first, along with the infrastructure to support the power plant, and then the plant itself can be constructed. It's important to note that the Ungaka coal mine is currently the largest working coal mine in Tanzania, and its associated power station, the Ungaka Coal Power Station, is a 270 megawatt plant. The Chuchuma power plant therefore represents more than double the power production, making use of the country's natural resources at a significantly higher rate than currently exists. 
Once the plant is up and running, 250 megawatts will be used to power a nearby iron plant that is also being planned, while 350 megawatts will be fed into the national grid, providing additional power for the country's citizens and helping the government to improve energy generation. The iron plant will help the government save a significant amount of money. At present, it's estimated that they're spending around 1 billion US dollars every year on iron and steel imports. Being able to extract local iron could vastly reduce this need and may even allow Tanzania to become an iron exporter. It's thought that over 126 million tons of iron is available, representing more than 50 years of mining and enormous value to the country. However, there are some potential complexities associated with the project, which involves international parties. In 2011, a 3 billion US dollar deal was signed with the Chinese company Sichuan Hongda Co Limited to create this mine and other improvements. A new joint venture company called Tanzania China International Mineral Resources TCIMR, has been established to handle the construction. The Chinese mining company will have an 80% stake once the project is complete, while Tanzania's National Development Corporation NDC, will have the remaining 20% stake. Some reports suggest that the NDC will have the opportunity to increase that stake when Sichuan Hongda's initial investment has been recovered. It's also notable that there's been a delay of more than a decade since the deal, which included other mining and power generation rights, was originally signed. Initially, the delay was put down to budget constraints and the government's inability to secure the funding. This was announced in January 2015. In mid-2016, work was pushed back to 2017 and in 2017, Further delays were projected when negotiations with investors over power tariffs and incentives began to struggle. Although the level of compensation for residents has been addressed, nothing was finalized and no construction began. Problems continued and in 2018 it was stated that the country needed 645.75 million US dollars to cover the project. For a time it looked uncertain whether it would go ahead. In 2020 attention was returned to the plans. And in 2021, discussions on tax incentives and other practicalities were renewed. Sichuan Hongda Group Limited began geological exploration, valuation for compensation, technological development and more. Their work raised concerns as it was contrary to the Natural Wealth and Resources Permanent Sovereignty Act 2017 and others. But the president insisted it was time to move forward, stating that the government would act if the project didn't progress. President Samai has been instrumental in pushing for the completion of the project and made it an election promise that it would become reality. There are concerns that coal may be eclipsed by other energy sources before the resource can be utilized if progress is not made soon. When pushed for answers about the delay, a governmental spokesperson said in early 2023 that negotiations were likely to be concluded by the end of 2023-2024. The government has suggested that it is now in talks with alternative investors, indicating that progress is being made. It is working to improve the road that will lead to the planned mine and power plant, and has begun reassessing compensation for the residents, suggesting that there is a movement. According to the Minister for Investment, Industry and Trade, Dr. Ashatu Kijaji, in January 2023 funds have been allocated and the project is due to start soon. In June 2023, the government launched a compensation program for relocating the area's residents. Once the compensation has been paid, residents will have three months to leave that area so that construction can begin. If construction does start as planned in 2025, it's possible that the plant could be operational and generating power by 2026, although the start and completion dates are pretty speculative at this point. The estimated cost for the project is currently set at around 1.3 billion US dollars although delays in complications may see this cost rise. Much of this money is likely to come from investors in Tanzania, who will receive power tariffs and incentives. However, at this stage, funding and incentives are unclear. Any agreements the government may have reached with private investors have not been publicized. Sichuan Hongda Group Limited has paid for much of the work in the area, including the development of new technology and the geological exploration, putting around $70 million into these projects and others in an effort to move things forward. If completed, the coal mine will tap into a natural resource at a time when many energy sources are uncertain, particularly due to the Russian-Ukrainian war, which has had a major impact on the supply of natural gas. The new power plant will create enhanced access to electricity for many Tanzanian citizens. 
There's also an opportunity for the country to become one of Africa's top exporters of coal, and this is now considered essential to the country's economy. In 2019 alone, mineral exports brought in around 2.3 billion US dollars, and Tanzania already ships coal to Senegal, Egypt, India, Europe, China, and other countries. The opportunity is increased by the possibility of exporting iron, which could transform Tanzania's economy. The country may also be able to use the plant to stabilize its electricity generation and meet growing demands as more and more rural properties become connected to the grid and increase the need for power. Furthermore, the mine and power plant will create an estimated 2,500 jobs in the area, with around 500 of those being direct and another 2,000 indirect. The Chuchuma power plant has a lot of potential to increase Tanzania's electricity generation and its export power, as well as possibly improving its diplomatic relations with China, which has demonstrated keen interest in investment in the area. Although delays have left many people wondering if the project can ever go ahead, and serious red tape has caused significant setbacks, it seems that things are finally in motion for this power plant and the associated infrastructure, and the impact for the country in both the relatively short term and the long term could be massive. Excited for more construction wonders? Click the video on your screen to unravel how Sweden is constructing Europe's longest road tunnel below Stockholm. See you there!